in Bowling for Columbine, uh, we never really came up with the answer in terms of why this happened. I think we did a good job of exposing all the reasons that were given were a bunch of BS. You know, Marilyn Manson caused them to do it. This, this, or that caused them to do it. And none of it really made any sense. That's why I believe there should be an investigation in terms of what pharmaceuticals, prescribed pharmaceuticals, these kids were on. And, and perhaps uh, parents, it would have a shocking, um, it would just would be shocking, I think, to the millions of parents who prescribe this for their kids if they, if it was finally explained to them, if this is the case, that this perhaps occurred for no other reason other than because of these prescriptions. Imagine what that would do. Imagine how people would totally rethink things, grasping for every little straw they can to explain why something like Columbine happens, when in fact it may be nothing more than this. How else do you explain two otherwise decent kids, very smart, no history of violence to other kids in the school? Why them? Why did this happen? It's an extremely legitimate question to pose, and it demands uh, an investigation. The Eli Lilly Corporation, a pharmaceutical company, for uh, nearly 15 years covered up their own internal investigation that showed that anyone on Prozac uh, is 12 times more likely to attempt suicide than those using other antidepressants, not 12 times more than the average population, 12 times more than those already on other antidepressants. This is a criminal act. And I want to know why these criminals are still walking the streets.